Good morning, guys. How are we doing this morning? Um, crime, coffee, coffee, and conspiracies here. Just wanted to talk um, Delphi a little bit this morning and this document. Um, this document that let me just start out with. It's not. It's not new. Go look on Reddit. Go look. Um, you can see Becky Patty commenting that this is not new information. It's from the second search warrant for Ron Logan. It's not the first one. Um, and it's not new information to anybody. It's not. This is not new information. Okay. Let me second go over. Secondly say, why are certain channels taken as fact and certain ones picked apart for everything they say? Okay. Um, you have channels like, you know, the... Um, Murder sheet, for example, that uh, aren't questioned at all. They're not questioned by the news source, news outlets that have them on, ask them about the documents that came out, which is always the same news outlet. Um, they're not questioned. Um, GH's channel, he's never questioned. And, like, it's peculiar to me that certain things in this case... It's okay to pick apart and look at, but certain ones aren't. For example, we can sit here all day and make as many videos and speculate as much as we want about who BG is, what he has on, what he did, da 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 da. Anything we want to, um, anything we want to question of him, okay? Anything. It's okay. It's okay on anyone's channels. It's okay. As soon as you say, Kelsey German's lying, Kelsey German said something that contradicted itself, you're the biggest fucking troll there is out there. Huh? Somebody explain this to me, or try to help me maybe wrap my head around it, because I don't understand it. You know, it's just the biggest thing in sitting there yesterday making the videos I made for you guys talking about these transcripts, and again, it's just like, why are... Three or four channels picked apart every word out of our mouths. But then other ones, everything their state is fact. I don't know. You tell me. Um, does it make any sense? Um, it's just peculiar to me that some, like I said, some channel or channels are just rooted in truth, clearly. Or like I said, we can speculate about the BG, who he was, what he had dressed like, or anything. It's okay. As soon as we get off of, of that, you know, TK and KK are the ones that murdered and it was through Anthony Schatz and da-da-da, anything of that nature, um, we can't talk about it and we're tr you're a troll and get the F off my channel and you're a loser and this, that, and the other thing. As soon as you go off a narrative. That should show you something there, too. What happened to question everything? Like, isn't a good detective questions everything? No. No. Good, good detectives are good something. They don't question anything. Or like, or like, you should question people. You should question things, man. You should question every angle of things. Not in this case. God, heaven forbid, you question GH's narrative. Heaven forbid, you go against the murder sheet and their narrative. It's weird, man. It's peculiar things like this that I think keep me attached to this stupid case. I mean, it's not a stupid case because two girls were killed. It's stupid in the fact of all these small pe in peculiarities, I guess, if you will. Um, I met a lot of good people through doing this um, and talking about it. But again... Does anybody want to help me out with any of that? Why it's okay to speculate about the BG or what he did or who he is. But as soon as we question Kelsey or anything she says or anything about the families or pieces of garbage or trolls or this or that. It's kind of weird to me that Derek Germans and his son Cody Patty have a baby, have the same baby's mom, have a kid to the same woman. That's curious and weird. That's weird. My son's a little bit older too. But, I mean, he's... If we wouldn't be sleeping with the same woman, that's fucking weird no matter how old we are. 
Just saying. So I just want to hop on and ask that this morning of why are certain channels rooted as fact and that you should just listen and when other ones are picked apart? What happened to a good detective questions everything? I don't know. Also, please check out the video I just put up with the with about the Fox Fox News source. Somebody in Delphi is connected to that news source. Somebody in Delphi is because look, they can as soon as that the document they want to come out and they want to push the narrative, let's put them on Fox Fox News. So you see how they're going beyond the YouTube community and going to the to the media outlet. So they're not even just getting exposure on YouTube, they're getting exposure in the national and world eye. Understand that this is the document and this is true. Since when, does anybody know where the media was created and why and for what? Maybe you do and you can put it in the comment section down below. But it was created as a war propaganda tool. Okay, the news was never created to be a true entity for stories of what is going on in the world or country or region. It was meant as a propaganda tool to stir shit up, to put out disinformation, to sway opinion, to sway the masses, to sway things of that nature. So when you see stories pushed on a media outlet, you have to question why. Why are they putting this out? Why are they pushing this? There's reasons certain news outlets during, for, I don't want to bring politics up, but there's reasons certain news outlets during the insurrections of June 6th or whatever they want, the insurrection of whenever the, at the Capitol, certain news outlets will talk about certain aspects of it. Certain news outlets will, ask, news outlets will talk about certain different aspects. Again, you have the, you know, red and blue, and they would talk differently of the same thing, if you will, okay? It's about opinion. It's about swaying that opinion. So when I see that Fox News is putting out things about Anthony Green of this bounty hunter, and saying that he, like, talking he's a true bounty hunter, I mean, I wouldn't question his license with you if he showed up. No, because, again, he was on Fox News. I mean, that's how people are meant to take the news as fact, that it's not fact-based. I mean, they did outlaw subliminal messaging and things of that nature in the 70s, but to say it's not done today, again, how do we know what people are doing? And, again, here's another something. Who monitors these YouTube channels for the subliminal messaging? I don't think anybody. I don't know. Just some peculiarities. I wanted to come on this morning and talk to you guys. I'm back. I'll be back every day with videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. They're trying to keep me down in the exposure, especially after the last four days of videos. As you can see, as above, so below. I, He's not around. Then the channel is not coming up. His new channel is not coming up. To me, I can't find it. So please, there's about three or four of us, and please don't silence us. Once our, once we get, sh then it's just them pushing this one narrative. Got to keep us in the limelight, like, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a great rest of your day.